people are very shocked, I think, to find that there are actually hungry people, hungry children in our society. The opening of uh, 1,200 food banks around the country has shocked people. The fact that a million people last year had to use a food bank, very basic food, just basic pasta, beans, tinted tomatoes, essentials, because they have nothing in the cupboard at all. I think that shocks people. I think it's made people realise that at the bottom of society there are a lot of people who are very unlucky, have mental health problems, children who come from very chaotic families, uh, and they're not surviving on the benefits that they're getting. And uh, I think uh, we need to have more food awareness, we need to have more help with cooking and management of food, but also just basically more money. A lot of families are ending up with just £19 a week for food for the entire family, and you can't really feed them on that. And people say, oh, well, couldn't they eat more rice and lentils? But in the end, they have to provide things that the children will eat and on the whole they go for whatever is most calories to stop children being hungry and that's often not very healthy. We face a real crisis over diabetes and obesity, uh, mostly through bad nutrition. We need to make sure that the next generation are well fed and that they're knowledgeable about how to feed their own children well. You can't do that while cutting and cutting and cutting people's wages. Wages have fallen sharply in the last 30 years. Uh, the, the, the dole, the job seekers allowance, has fallen by a third. It now only represents 15% of the average wage. People at the bottom of our society really are struggling and they need both money and help and support and encouragement to make sure that they can eat healthily and not get diabetes. I've been walking around the exhibition stands here, absolutely fascinating, eye-opening. The numbers of new ideas, of people are finding ways of having no sugar, uh, much less fat, uh, in healthy new products made out of innovative things. I mean, you don't know how many of them are going to catch on and become mainstream, but it shows how many people there are thinking very seriously about what do we do to stop people eating so much sugar and so much fat and make them eat something healthy.